Hey up brewers, how's it going? Gally from uh, VOC Home Brewery. Uh, today, um, back filming, first time in a while doing a doing a brew day. A lot of things going on, but yeah, getting uh, to the end of that almost. So uh, hopefully I'll get back to a bit more output shortly. Uh, right, today, stop waffling, doing a Timmy Taylor Landlord, but uh, not kind of any old Timmy Taylor Landlord, I've been given this recipe off my bud Adam Broad, power B80 user, who gets incredible efficiency so I'm going to be running through, I'll run through the recipe, it's quite basic really fairly basic, uh, you can kind of see it there I uh, have to change a couple of tiny things out but we're just at the start just mashed in, I'm not going to show you that, it's a waste of time uh, 10 minutes to mash in uh, about 5 key, about five k's of grain and now we're on the protein, we're on that, the protein rest plus alpha blah blah blah, alpha and beta. Now we've just got a few minutes of that left before we uh, before we go, heats up and, well no it's got, it's sorry, we're on the mash rest at the moment. Uh, you can see it flashing away there, just pause the, pause the counter then we'll go on to a, a 20 minute protein rest and then 60 minute main mash and 75 minute mash out, oh, 75 minute, 75 degree, 15 minute mash out, fuck's sake. So uh, yeah, that's where we are, uh, looking into the colour, pretty awful at the moment, hopefully that'll uh, that'll get uh, get quite a lot better when when we get to it, so uh, when we get to doing some business, so I'll talk through a few things uh, a little bit later about what I do to get the I think good efficiencies but there's always extra efficiencies to be had uh, if you know what you're doing and hopefully with the tips I'll try and provide you today uh, it will make them better get back to the bit hey brewers back again uh, just 12 minutes ago started the main mash 60 minutes it's actually starting to look the colour I uh, I was hoping it would, it did look like bloody dishwater, well it looked like bloody cold tea when it started, probably something to do with the 50 degree protein rest, uh, levels in the malt pipe are pretty decent, uh, you expect the malt pipes a little bit higher than the main kettle, that's fine, uh, anyone who's kind of watching me vids for the same uh, first time, I do pretty much the same vid most times to be honest, just Kind of showing people who aren't sure how to operate the brew tool system how I do this so uh, yeah that's the lever on that side and that's how I have the levers on that side during during the mash and during the boil pretty much so uh, yeah things are going okay uh, I'll be taking the first pH reading shortly, see if I need to make any adjustments as I have RO water since I've had that, that in, I, I literally hardly use hardly use any lactic acid, it seems to seems to take care of itself, I think the most I've put in any brew since I've had it is 2 or 3 mil so it doesn't, doesn't take much at all these days thankfully so uh, yeah, so not much else to report really, things going pretty steady, I'll do another little check on the cl wart clarity uh, a little bit later, cheers. Hey brewers, uh, just coming to the end of the mash out, just a few minutes left, uh, it's cleared up a hell of a lot to the start of the video, looking, looking like it should, so uh, yeah, been a pretty uneventful brew day so far. Uh, that's the levels about right. Stay pretty much. You can see by a ring uh, in the kettle. Uh, sorry, yeah, in the malt pipe. It got a bit higher for a minute or two. I just uh, lowered the the flow, and it's it's been fine since. Quite happy with that. So next step will be doing a volaf in a few minutes. I'll, uh, I'll film a little section of that. Anyone who doesn't do it, I highly recommend uh, doing it. Uh, again, another little tip off my uh, my B80 uh, colleague, uh, Adam Broad, my good friend. Uh, so yeah, it works. 
you know, uh, anyone who tells you different, just ignore them and do it. It's 10 minutes, it's nothing. And it'll give you an extra couple of gravity points, no problem. So, yep, there we are. As usual, I'm waffling. See you in a bit. Right, here we go. On the 10 minute vol off, I've just set a uh, 10 minute like, alarm thing on my phone. And just let it do that for the 10 minutes. So the rinse is the rinses the grains through with its own with the wart and it just helps exactly what the chemical reaction is I don't know but it works so yeah that's the voila cheers hey brewers uh, on the boil uh, it's going to be put in the the uh, 10 minute additions in shortly everything's gone tickety boo it's boiling its head off in there trust me it is uh, yeah I'll do a, a wrap up uh, wrap up vid in a bit when I get it in the fermenter with a few details on so yeah just the usual absolutely easy peasy lemon squeezy uh, brew day no issues at all uh, wort looked fantastic when it cleared up nicely uh, yeah everything's gone great so uh, I'll get back to you in a bit hey brewers uh, yeah right latest segment uh, I've just done a and this is uh, Another excellent tip from uh, Mr. Broad, uh, Adam Broad. So basically do a wart rest. Uh, I cool it down. The return temp was about 33, something like that. Uh, I basically just turn everything off, let it settle. And now I'll be cooling it down to pitching temp and get it in the fermenter. So yeah, that's uh, part of my process. It's had 25 minutes. I'm going to kind of start it up again and uh, cool it to uh, pitching temp. So yeah, that's uh, another little bit. Cheers. Hey up brewers, last video. Uh, I'm uh, cleaning up now. You will see IP. Uh, everything's gone tickety-boo. Uh, fermenter's in there. It's about 23 and a bit when it went in there. Temperature's ferment. It's going to ferment at 20, so yeah it's all in there so yeah super smooth day uh, everything went fine nothing adverse to report so there we are right, I'll put some stats up on the on the screen uh, better than the numbers uh, from the recipe so very happy with that I'll uh, see you again soon cheers